Hi guys, my name is Tom and in this video I'm going to show you the latest wireless video system from Asun and it's their Cineview HE and SE models. So the biggest feature about this wireless video system is that it uses two frequencies at 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz uh, to send the signal at the same time, unlike uh, some of the other competitors out there, uh, which basically will be switching between different frequencies. Well, this system sends it both at the same time, and then it lets the receiver kind of decode the signal and combine the two different frequencies to get the best quality image uh, and get it you know, working at the long range and also with a minimal delay or latency. And this system is rated at 50 milliseconds or below uh, latency. Another great thing about this uh, wireless video system from Asun is just like their previous models, like for example, like the Cine i2 Pro, uh, is that you can send the signal and actually receive it at four different devices and they don't have to be actually uh, different receivers uh, like the ones that, that come provided with the kit, but you can actually uh, receive the signal on a mobile device. So any, any device that uh, operates on Android or iOS, you can download the really, really great app that Asun has and then you can use that app to actually monitor your shots and not only that but there's actually a lot of other features in within that app that I'm going to show you guys. Now on the devices that you're going to be receiving the signal like I said you can have up to four different devices so they could be all let's say four mobile devices uh, and then in that case you can actually get a version which uh, of this kit which just comes with the transmitter. Uh, and then, for example, you can just have you know, mobile devices to receive the signal and it transmits that over Wi-Fi. Uh, or you can also have a combination of, let's say, two mobile devices and two receivers. Uh, or any combination of those two, like I said, up to four devices at the same time. The prices right now for this system start at $500. That's for the HE version, which I have up here. That's the HDMI version. And if you get the SE version, it's a little bit more expensive. Uh, because it has both SDI and HDMI uh, connections. And that's really the only difference between these two systems. These wireless video systems can send a 1080p signal up to 60p uh, at a distance of uh, up to 1200 feet, uh, or at least that's what it's uh, advertised by the manufacturer. But uh, I actually want you guys to watch my long range test uh, for a little surprise there. All right, so now I'm going to do the long range test uh, of the system. And uh, once again, the really cool thing about the fact that this is so small and so light is that it means you can basically build a really small and light, easy to walk with uh, director's monitor. Like for example, here I have the Ninja uh, 5 recorder and uh, I'm actually recording so you guys can see what I'm seeing on the screen here. And I'm also using one of these Sony NPF batteries that has a USB out. So I can use that one battery to power both the monitor slash recorder and the receiver. Uh, so it just, again, makes it a lot easier, quicker set setup, uh, easier to walk with. I'm also here recording my screen on my phone so I can kind of see how the Wi-Fi function works. We got a little bit of traffic here today, so we'll have some movement. I also have my wife there with, her, with, the, with our dog. Uh, just, just so that you guys can see some movement in the chat. Also, whenever I show you my screen recorder, uh, you'll be able to see on the bottom left side of the screen the time code going, so you can actually see if uh, the, the video transmission has stopped or, or frozen, because that, that will stop moving or taking away. Anyways, let me start working, and I'll be using also Google Maps to kind of tell you guys how far I am. So, here I am. Let me check the distance. Um, Google Maps. So I am 160 feet away, uh, 161 to be exact, so 161 feet away, and I'm still getting good signal here. I can see the, the movement and the time code hasn't frozen. So I'll keep on walking. And now the Wi-Fi signal seems, still seems to be working. So that's pretty good. So 390 feet away from the camera, still getting good signal, doesn't seem to be any delays there. And see my wife crossing the street. All right, I'm gonna keep on walking then. Now the Wi-Fi signal, I see it's kind of going in and out a little bit. Uh, so it is, it's losing some strength. I think it's frozen there. Yep. So it looks like basically past 390 feet, that's when you start losing the signal. Still kind of goes in every so on, but it's not great. <laughs> 
but that's to be expected. So now I am 0.1 miles away, uh, or basically just over 500 feet away. Just over 500 feet away, I see the car moving there. Uh, you know, everything seems to be working. So I'm gonna keep on walking again. Okay, I'm getting the Wi-Fi signal, seems to be back. And I am, yeah, just over 0.1 miles away. Okay, the signal still seems to work. As I can see it here, um, there's no delays here. Uh, the, the video quality hasn't degraded at all, so that's good. And I am at 1,100 feet away from the camera. You guys probably won't see me, I'm right next to this car that's passing. Uh, anyways, I'll wave here. Okay, I see my wife waving back. All right, I'm gonna keep on walking then. Still works well. The Wi-Fi signal has completely frozen, but again, like that's, that's to be expected. Past 500 feet, kind of goes in and out. Okay, I've reached pretty much like the end of the street here. Uh, and I am 0.3 miles away. Okay, <laughs> so I am really, really far. So yeah, the signal looks really good. So I'm gonna walk across the street, actually go a little bit further here. Now I'm still getting a signal here and I'm 0.4 miles away. So 0.4 miles away. I can't really go any further when, when it comes to open line of sight. I don't know if she can see me. <laughs> I'm waving to her. Okay, there she is, she's waving, okay. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go a little bit further still. So now it's no longer open line of sight and it's 0.4 miles away. Okay, now I'm losing a signal. There, it's recording again. All right, so when I went behind the trees there at 0.4 miles away from the transmitter, then finally it lost the signal. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, I walked back in here in open line of sight and I'm getting perfect signal. So if I could keep on walking, if the street didn't end, then it looks like I could still get uh, uh, you know, the signal to, to, to go through here. Okay, so I'm back covered in sweat. But as you can see, I went all the way to the end of the street, basically open line of sight up to 4.4 miles away. Uh, and then when I went behind the trees, then finally the signal cut out. So now I'm gonna do closer range up to basically no more than like 300 feet away, but I'm gonna walk around here, around there's a building here, a house was made out of concrete and brick. So we'll see how the signal is, is there. Now I'm about 100 feet away. I'm gonna go here basically off camera, so you guys can't see me, but I'm behind a building. Okay, I'm completely behind the building now, and I'm still getting a signal. Let me see, let me go further here. There's another house here. Well, some trees and then a house. All right, still getting a signal here. It looks a really good signal. So I'll walk even further here. All right, so the camera stopped recording basically and now it's shut down because it got too hot. So anyways, I'm gonna be heading back. <laughs> so as you guys could see, the system definitely does perform at the advertised range of up to 1200 feet, but it can actually go much further if you have open line of sight. Like in my case, I was able to get it to just over 2100 feet. Now, usually you're probably not gonna be working at such a long distance, at least not on a, on a film set. Uh, but if you wanted to, like I said, you have that capability over there. Now, in my case, I've been using this on different film shoots. And when you're going in through different walls, whether it's concrete walls or, you know, just regular drywall or things like that, uh, I haven't really encountered any issues if you're going like within 500 feet distance. So it's definitely a reliable system and it just shows uh, what you can do by transmitting uh, the signal over two different frequencies at the same time. Now, uh, if you're just wondering about uh, the delay, like I said, the delay is minimal when you're working with an actual transmitter. If you're doing it over Wi-Fi, there is a bit more of a lag. Uh, but uh, like just right now, for example, if you look at the screen, and it, also keep in mind that the, the Ninja 5 uh, recorder going over HDMI especially, that in itself has some latency. So uh, it's not as bad if you're working with like a better monitor. But for me, actually, I've been using it a lot with this monitor, and, and the reason is because, like I mentioned before, I like the fact that it kind of creates this uh, sort of a compact director's monitor. 
Now connecting your mobile device to the transmitter is pretty straightforward. Uh, first you're going to go and actually make sure that you're connected to the Wi-Fi signal that the transmitter actually emits. And then the, you're just going to start up the app uh, and you're going to select the device obviously that you want. So I'm already on Cineview, but you know, if you're using some of the other ones, you would go to there and then just click monitor. And as you can see, I'm already getting the signal here. Now, if you just want to kind of see if the difference in the delay on over Wi-Fi, you'll notice that up here is not much of a difference because this thing is very close to the transmitter. But Wi-Fi signal, especially like once you're getting really far, far away from the transmitter, you'll notice a slight lag. Again, it's very minimal, but there, it is there. Now, the cool thing about this app is that it actually turns your mobile device into like a professional monitoring device. So they've got a lot of like uh, here settings here or like you know, monitoring tools on the bottom. You can actually add extra tools so you can really customize it. So, you know, you have like your histogram, uh, your waveforms there, you, know, you can turn on and off, if focus peaking, you can load in LATs. Uh, so that's really cool if you're working with different cameras that are, you know, working with like a lock profile. Uh, you have the zebras there also, false color with the legend on the, on the left side there. You even have different de-squeeze aspect ratios. Uh, so if you're working with anamorphic lenses, you'll be able to do that too. Um, what else? You have your audio meter, so you can measure that or monitor it, uh, different guides, you know, things like that. And again, fully customizable. Uh, and then another cool thing about the app too is that you can use it to record. So you have on the bottom right here, so you can actually record your video uh, stream or you can go live, meaning you can actually stream to you know many of these online services, whether it's like YouTube or Facebook or, or Twitch or whatever. So you can actually use this to live stream your video. So again, really, really cool functionality. And it's all within this free app that Asun provides. As far as the sort of the design and the build, like I said, these two different versions that I have up here, really the only difference is that uh, this one here, for example, the receiver you'll notice has HDMI out. This receiver has HDMI and SDI out. Uh, so that's really the difference there. And then as far as the transmitters go, uh, this version has HDMI and SDI in, while the HE version has HDMI in and HDMI out for a loop. If you want to send that, let's say to a monitor or something. Uh, here on the back, you'll notice you have the Sony NPF uh, battery plate, so you can power it that way, uh, or you can actually also power it using uh, five volts and that's actually what I'm doing up here. So like I showed you before, I'm using my Sony NPUF battery that has USB out to power both the monitor and the receiver in this case. Uh, you also have your channels or groups here that you can switch and you have up to 16 different groups that you can switch to. So you can have a lot more of these receivers and transmitters on the same set without running into any conflicts. Uh, you can also power it up here using a DC input uh, and it's anywhere it will accept a uh, voltage between 7.4 to 16.6 volts. And then on the front, it's pretty straightforward. You have your power button and then you have your left, right, and sort of like the select button if you want to navigate through the settings. Uh, the display actually is nice as in it shows all the most important information there. But really, to be honest, I've never really had to change any of the settings because it pretty much just pairs up automatically and it just works right out of the, the box. Uh, really, the only thing you're going to make sure is you're on the same group. Uh, and otherwise, you don't really have to mess around with any settings, which is a good thing, obviously. It means that you can get to work quicker. Another thing you'll notice is that it's actually pretty small. I give you order to take away those antennas. It's pretty much like the size of like a pack of cards. These are also made out of aerospace grade aluminum. Uh, so they're very sturdy. Uh, but at the same time very light. They all come in at just 210 grams. You'll also notice that uh, none of these have any openings for a fan and that's because they're actually a fanless design uh, and they just use that aluminum body to actually dissipate all the internal heat. And if you guys actually look at my outdoor long range test which was shot in direct sunlight and in temperatures uh, reaching up to 100 degrees, uh, you'll notice that my camera which is the Sony a7S III was the first one to actually shut down and this camera almost never overheats but like i said it reached its limits today uh, and uh, so that was the, the, the first thing to shut down after that the monitor actually shut down but these things never did so they just kept on working so uh, it really does mean that like, like i said the fa fanless design works means it's quiet you don't have to worry about sound on set but at the same time you also don't have to worry about these things overheating 
Also, if you're worried about the power consumption, they've also taken care of that. Uh, you can, in fact, power any of these on a single Sony NPF 970 uh, battery up to 12 hours. And if that's not enough for you, then, like I said, you can always power it using the DC port or, let's say, a USB uh, power pack. So, in short, this is a really impressive wireless video system. And if you guys have been following me online, then you know that I've pretty much tested out all the wireless video systems that are out there from all the different brands. Uh, and, and like I said, the fact that they were able to squeeze in such good range, video quality, and all these features in such a small package uh, really is impressive. Um, and if, you know, as soon, if you guys are working on an upgraded version, maybe in, for next year or something, then uh, maybe, maybe if you could do something similar to this, but with an even higher resolution. I mean, if most of the time when you're streaming, HD is good enough. Uh, but I know that there are, have been sometimes uh, cases where I wish I could send a 4K video signal. And again, I don't know if it's possible because all of the other like systems out there, and there aren't many that can transmit 4K video signal, are, are much bigger and really, really expensive. Like they don't even come anywhere close within this price range. Uh, so like I said, so if you're looking for an HD wireless video system, then this is something I can definitely recommend. Anyways, if you guys want more information about the As Soon uh, Cineview wireless video systems, then head on over to my website at tomantosfilms.com uh, and also you'll be able to find all the links to where you can purchase these uh, down in the description of this video. Thank you, my name is Tom, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.